Man is having a barbecue to celebrate another successful expedition to the plough. That's the consolation, not the pub. He needs a cold beer, but the fridge has malfunctioned. Mmm, tepid. Can rockets come to the rescue? Can a rocket fire the can so high into the atmosphere that it cools it down nice, ready and fit for consumption? Can it? Well, can it? Quite possibly. At 36,000 feet, the air temperature averages out at minus 56 degrees centigrade, which should chill our beverage nicely. The payload, a beer can, is now being inserted into this rocket here, which produces an extraordinary 200 kilograms of thrust for a limited time. It'll then be fired high into the atmosphere where the beer can will be chilled to an ideal consumption temperature of between 6 and 10 degrees centigrade. Mmm. The world's first rocket beer chiller. NASA never tried this. Hey, final checks on the beer can. Here we go. Down in T minus ten seconds. Dies, nerf, wheat, set, cease, sank, cut, toi, de, un. And there she goes. Excellent. High as you like. It's gone so high, even our trained cameramen are having problems seeing it. Super chilled. The beer has been jettisoned and its parachute deployed. As usual with Brainiacs, when there's free drink on offer, it's a race to get there first. Is it chilled, though? That's the question. Let's find out. Is it cold? It's nice and chilled! So, rockets can chill beer. <laughs> Where are the results? Thank you. When man finally takes a holiday in the sun, literally, and wants a nice cold beer, you can't say that the Brainiac rocket scientists didn't have a little bit to do with that. Take that to NASA.